Hi, it's Brad, and I'm back uh, from the Mini Maker Fair in Seattle and Kitsap. So I've unloaded my trunks, and uh, also right now what I'm doing is I'm photographing each and every one of the projects I've made, and that'll be all loaded up on a new website, craftsstickcrafts.com. But I wanted to show you how easy it is and what I do behind the scenes. So this is, uh, this is my photo booth. It also doubles as the workshop. There's the workshop. And I got things all the way around us, including the dryer, washer. So this can be done anywhere in your house. You don't need a big studio. I'm changing over laundry when I'm in the middle of this. But what I'm shooting here is uh, this is my setup and so what I'm doing is you know I'm down on my hands and knees propping and sorting and I've got some of my my hot glue ready to go here for things that don't balance up real good or things I'm I'm making in a pinch no pun intended making a uh, coffee stick ladder to climb up this single man outpost I've got my guy in there and little props. There's our DVD cover. So anyhow, what I've got going is this is how I do it. I set it up, little blue paper in the background. I do the video, or I'm sorry, I do the pictures. This happens to be a remote control Pinewood Derby car. So we'll roll that out of the way. We'll get bring this one in. So this is, you know, this is all the behind the scene things. I have a, a light here with paper on it that diffuses the light and that casts the shadows, it casts the shadows away from all the details. Then I have another light here. A light shining this way, an overall bright, and the overall above. And what that does, it just blasts my uh, area that I'm photographing. Oops. Um, just with the right amount of light. So I can prop these guys up, and if they don't stand up real good, I hot glue them into place. I uh, take the camera. And to stabilize it, I just use a, a little can like this. This is, happens to be just a can. Often I'll get up higher, balance it with a ruler at different heights, another ruler. And that just allows you to, uh, let's see if I can get this on, to stabilize your shot. There we go so that you're not tilting and it gets it pretty good focus. And the cameras I use are real basic and simple. And uh, I, I've learned to use this particular one for many years. And so I keep buying the same brand, the same camera off of eBay every time. I don't have to reinvent the wheel in the back as far as what buttons to push. This little guy that I'm using right here has been really, really a fabulous camera. And this is no plug to this, this camera manufacturer either. But we're doing all sorts of things. Uh, have that hot glue, like I mentioned, always ready to go. We wanted to stabilize the boat so it stood up instead of keep falling down. So we glued a battery to the back that helps it stay upright. Um, let's see the horse in this angle because my, my table, it's kind of tilted down. That just gives me a better angle. And so the, the chariot, he kept on rolling backwards off of the horse. So we hot glued the horse to the chariot and uh, 
you know, and then we're able to proceed. And that comes off real easy, which I'll probably break it in front of you. And then we can use the horse for different things. Since I've got the chariot, I'll show you. So we have a, a chapter on wheel making. This is one of the first wheels we made. And then we use uh, clothes pins for the axle to support the axles. What else we got going? Oh yeah, there's uh, the Pinewood Derby car that we use uh, for lots of, uh, we use a lot of our cool tool bends for making wheel well spoilers for the Derby. This is a little trailer that we've designed. Could be all sorts of things. Derby trailer. We've got horse trailers. Uh, we mocked this guy up here to be a telescope and we had a excuse me. We had a little guy on a box. So anyhow, the point is it can be done from uh, a small space. I just want to encourage you to you know if you've got something you like to do do it and it doesn't have to be perfect you can finalize the perfection later when you uh, have more time but uh, this is just an inside look at what I'm doing and um, how I'm doing it uh, this is a little camera stand there's always one more thing we attach to the tank and then we can drive the tank around. That's on some of the other videos. So we got uh, animal cages going on, all sorts of stuff set aside that uh, are, is behind the scenes. So I just want to encourage you again to, uh, if you've got something going, uh, learn about it, be passionate about it, and, and just go for it. Doesn't have to be perfect in a perfect world, which this isn't. So, hope you enjoy my videos. Thanks. See ya. Bye.